Use what you have learned about square roots to solve the following problem. The high school drama club is going to put on a new play. For this play, they need to build a square platform that has an area of 169 square feet. Square feet. Given this information, can you figure out the length of one of the sides? Let's use what you've already learned about square roots and walk through how to solve this problem. First, let's think about what we know. We know that to find the area of a square, that the area is equal to side squared. In this example, we know the area. We're trying to figure out the length of the side. So we can substitute 169 in for the area equals s squared. Now, we need to get rid of this 2, the square, because we only want the length of the side. We can do that by taking the square root of both sides. These cancel, leaving s alone. The square root of 169 is 13. So the side length of the platform is 13 feet. What if the area of the square platform had been 400 feet squared? What would the side length be then? Well, we can set it up the same way. We can write area equals side square. Let's substitute in what we know. We know that the area is 400 feet, and we have equals side squared. Now we can take the square root of both sides. These cancel, leaving s alone. The square root of 400 is 20. So the platform side length is going to equal 20 feet. We can check our work by substituting the side length back into the formula. Area is equal to side squared. That's our formula. If we look for the area, we substitute 20 in for the side squared. The area equals 400 square feet. Our answer checks out. What if I said that the area was 1,600 square feet? Again, we can work in a similar way as we did before. We do area equals side squared. Substitute 1,600 in for the area equals side squared. Now we want to get s alone, so we take the square root of both sides the square root of 1600 is 40. If the area of the platform was 1600 square feet, that would mean that the side length would be equal to 40 feet.